Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So welcome back to Vlogmas Day number six. And we're gonna be cooking today and going over our Christmas menu plan. I do think I still have to do a little bit of shopping, but I think I'm getting close. And I may not. So I'm gonna bring you along as I go through my menu plan and the things that we already have here in the house. And then we will let, I'll let you know and my list will tell me whether I need to buy anything else. I think I'm square, but I just wanna make sure. I, I don't wanna be short on anything. My kids have asked for specific things and I wanna make sure that I have everything that everybody has asked for. Also, I'm gonna be doing a meal and then the kids are gonna be making some Christmas cookies. So we just thought we'd bring you along for our Cook With Me Christmas Day menu plan. So these, little buggers, right? Pillsbury sugar cookies, which I got with a coupon. Pillsbury sugar cookies for two cookies, it's seven points. Now I have 10 points left for the day. So I am going to have to be creative in my eating if I wanna have cookies. And the kids are gonna have cookies. So mom will have cookies with coffee because that is what I should have. But I've been real strategic with my meals for the day and I think I'm gonna be able to pull it off based on what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. So I went to Walmart the other day and they had... Okay, so in order for me to be able to have cookies, I have to make sure that my meal is less than three points. So what I'm gonna be having for dinner um, is a tilapia filet and I went to Walmart I think it was the other day um, I'm gonna be uploading a Weight Watcher freestyle program a Weight Watcher freestyle program a uh, grocery haul so the other day I found some markdown tilapia and these are very large size which is very good so on the new freestyle program, uh, fish and seafood, shrimp, is all zero points. So I'm gonna have one filet, and I'm also gonna have some cauliflower and some green beans, which these were frozen. I just put them in the um, microwave to thaw them out, and now I'm just putting them in this fry pan to saute them up a little bit. And so my green beans, because they didn't have anything in them, they were just green beans. And my um, cauliflower was just cauliflower. Those are counting as zero points. I just added in some salt, some table blend. And so that's going to be my zero point dinner. Now Weight Watcher uh, alum or more seasoned Weight Watcher people. I do believe I'm counting this right on the new freestyle program. And of course I will be logging all of this in, but this is the only way that I'm going to be able to have my cookie treat. And so I'm actually going to try to see if I can find something else for zero points that I can actually add to my meal. I may be able to put a little bit of fat-free cheese on this for me and the kids, a quarter cup is still going to count as zero points for the whole meal there. So in the meantime, Jackson and I are going to start with making our cookie treats and then I'm going to bring you along for my Christmas Day menu plan. Okay, so Jackson and I, we're only going to make six cookies. 24 cookies come in this pack, but we realize that if we make 24 cookies, we're going to eat 24 cookies and that's not our testimony that's not what we want to do we only want to have one serving and one serving is two cookies so yesterday when we went to the church christmas party we ended up making a snickerdoodle these are the sugar cookies just plain sugar cookies so we put in a bowl um a little bit of sugar just white sugar some cinnamon and then we wanted to make them cocoa snickerdoodles so we added in just a little bit of cocoa powder and so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our square cookies, we're going to roll them into circles, and we're going to 
roll them in this mixture, put them on the pan, 350 degrees for about 11 minutes. Then on top of them, we're going to put a Hershey's Kiss. Now, here's a little tip. You may already know this, but to keep your dough from sticking to your hands, take a little bit of cooking spray and rub your hands together and it will help you with the dough sticking. One. Your Hershey Kiss is one point. So we've got our balls, our cookie balls, all rolled. You can take your lid and shake them up. They get nice and coated. That does tend to flatten them out a little bit. We're just putting these on a little bit of parchment paper. And we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 11 minutes. Okay, so 11 minutes has passed. Our cookies have come out. Now, when you do regular sugar cookies, depending on how much cinnamon you use, it could they could look this cinnamon the ones we did yesterday just look really pale but then when we put the cocoa in it looked a little bit darker so this is 11 minutes they are still soft pliable and we're now just going to take our Hershey's Kiss which are one smart point and stick them right in the middle and press down a little bit do this while this the, the cookies are hot they just came out and then we'll let them set There you have it, our quick treat, which we'll have after our meal. Okay, everybody, here's my notebook that I've been using to write down all of my event things. Of course, I did the wedding in this. I did Thanksgiving in this. And so, in a couple of, of events that I've been a part of. So, now I'm going to open this up to a clean section. Remember, I uh, paper clip or staple off the parts that I've already done. These are already done vacation packing lists is in here. And now I'm going to work on Christmas. 2017 so we always do breakfast and usually that's going to be about 8 30 a.m so far my menu is always the same in the fact that we have brown sugar bacon we normally have grits with cheese we always have eggs. Um, we either have pancakes, waffles, French toast, one sweet. So I think this time I'm going to do French toast. And the reason being is because I already have potato bread in the freezer that I had a coupon for. And so I don't have to buy uh, any waffles or pancake mix. I'm gonna just do the French toast. Then my daughter asked for quiche. My oldest daughter asked for quiche. Trend, but she wants veggie quiche or some foolishness. Um, my oldest son has not asked for anything. And what am I missing from this list? Jackson, what am I missing from this list, bud? I got Bacon, grits, eggs, French toast, quiche. Sometimes I'll do sausage and bacon. Haven't decided. Oh, fruit. I don't have any fruit down here. I usually do a fruit salad or fruit of some kind. We usually just do straight fruit. Cereal? No, we're not having cereal. We usually have yogurt because um, Shamika likes yogurt. What else? Oh, I should have got that yogurt when it was on sale. Doggone. Um, and then we usually have coffee. Ooh, juice. Apple cider. Hold up. There's apple cider mix. Um, sometimes we'll do apple cider. We have hot chocolate. Did you mention the special drink you made, Mom? Um, and the mimosas. is what we're going to be doing the mimosa bar so for that that's going to be oj 
and sparkling cider. So that's pretty much going to be my list. It's pretty carb heavy, but on Christmas, Thanksgiving, those times, I usually just let the kids have what they want to have. Now, as much as I love to cook, I don't love to eat all of these things. I will eat something, probably the bacon, and I'll make enough bacon that we can have um, bacon for lunch sandwiches. And we usually will do like ham and cheese and bacon sandwiches, or I'll cook a warm chicken sandwich or something. And then if there's any brown sugar bacon left, normally I will um, put that on the sandwiches. So let me see what I already have. So this list now is going to be the things that I have, right? So I have three packs of bacon, which I don't think that's going to be enough. They go through brown sugar bacon around here like for real. So I don't think I have enough bacon. I have three things of syrup. Um, Harris Teeter had buy one get one free last week, so I picked up two and we had half of one. I have sugar free and I have regular for the people who are not doing sugar free. Um, I have eggs. I have 60 eggs, which should be plenty. But we are doing eggs quite a bit on Weight Watchers Freestyle, so I may end up having to get some more. I'm not sure because from this week, I have two, eight, I have 36 extra eggs, but then I only have 60. We'll see. I think 60 eggs might be enough. I have two loaves of potato bread, four um, French toast, but I do not have cinnamon. So these are the things that I need. I need cinnamon. I'm going to need more bacon. More brown sugar? I have brown sugar. I have regular sugar. Let's see. Grits. I have grits. I got a whole thing of grits and I have cheese. I have cream oatmeal? cheese. No, we're not doing oatmeal because Shamika's the only one who eats it. I have cream cheese. Okay, I need pie shells and I think I'm going to get two of these for the quiche. Um, I don't have yogurt. What else do I not have? I'm going to have to hit butter? Aldi up for some fruit. I do not have butter. But I don't know why I would need butter. I do need spray oil. I need spray oil for my pans. Um, coffee juice, apple cider, hot chocolate, mimosa bar. I have all of those. I'm going to need strawberries for the mimosas. Okay. I'm just making a few more notes here. So three packs of bacon, three syrups, and the only reason I got three is because we had kind of a half of one, and then I bought one on the buy one, get one free. I have 60 eggs, um, two loaves of, of the potato bread. I do have milk, but I don't have heavy cream, which we might want to use for the French toast. My friend who's coming over is Jay, and Jay's a chef. And he may want to use heavy cream. I'm going to get Jay to cook with me um, when he comes over for Christmas. He doesn't know that quite yet, but he should be okay with it. Okay, I've got cheese times two or more in the freezer. I have cream cheese. I have three orange juices, three sparkling cider. I do have milk, so I'm going to put a question mark beside heavy cream. I'll ask him. And we're going to have different stations. So I'm going to have probably here will be our French toast station. In the in, Let me see. Here will be the French toast station. In the living room is probably where I'm going to set up the mimosa bar. And then different places throughout the house will be different areas. I already have coffee creamer. But I only have sugar free. So I may need some regular creamer. That's right. And I'll get a small because I don't use this. I use the sugar free. So let's see. Ritz cheese. I may do some ham chunks. I'm not real sure. I usually do biscuits and gravy. I do have biscuits. 
if Shamika wants biscuits and gravy. And I have and I have gravy. I have pepper gravy. So I may do biscuits and gravy. Right now we only plan on having two guests for Christmas. But if I can find anybody else that doesn't have a place to go for the holiday, I will certainly open up my home to those people who need a place to go. So we have cinnamon rolls. Lordy. I might have to narrow this down. We may not need the um, French toast if we have the cinnamon rolls. I'm going to check with the kids to see what they want. Um, we don't have hash browns and we always have hash browns. Hash browns. Because I may do the hash brown casserole. I don't know. So just going through this menu, um, it would seem, I know some people would say, well, you're just doing breakfast. It's not all that much. But because breakfast is our main meal, it is a lot comparative to somebody's regular dinner meal. But fortunately for me, I've been able to, to get some of these things and save them along because of coupons. So what I have to get will not be as much as what I would have had to purchase had I not got coupon items previous. So I think for my fruit, I think I want to get pineapple. I'm going to get some cantaloupe. I'm going to get strawberries. I'll get some grapes. Um... And I may get some blackberries or some raspberries. All right, let me take you around a couple of areas of my home so you can see where things are going to be located. So in this area is where I am planning to have all of the coffee. So anything hot, coffee, hot chocolate. We actually put the coffee bin and the hot chocolate bin here just so that we could free up a little bit more um, counter space. But all the cups are here, all of the um, K cups are here. So that's an easy put it out if I need it. Or people can just grab it from here. I'm probably going to put it out. I'm going to refill all of my jars here with my simple syrups and different things like that. I do have my cocoa powder and my um, honey granules, different things for the hot chocolate bar. So that's going to be for the hot items. Of course, I will have any eggs and anything that I'm going to be cooking on the stove as well as my egg casserole will go into the stove. Here is where I'm thinking about either doing the French toast bar because I have a, a separate griddle outside. So I'll have French toast here and then probably over here I will have uh, cinnamon rolls. So anything that's sweet. So French toast, cinnamon rolls, all of my syrups will be out. I have lots of serving dishes and serving trays, so I'll probably be pulling out of this cabinet for all of my glassware and my small saucers and anything. There's my orange juice container that I'll pull down. So all of my servingware will be used. Coming over to this side of the kitchen is probably where I'm gonna have my grit station. So I have my crock pot set up, my grits will be on. And then I have the grits, the cheese, the ham chunks, the onions, anything that I think people would want on their grits. This will be the grit station. And then we're going to go into the, um, we're probably going to pull this kitchen table out so that we will be able to just have people sit around. Jackson, come get your books and put them up, love. And then here, is where we will have the mimosa bar. So we'll have the, the uh, cider, the orange juice, the uh, glasses, and then we'll probably have fruit to go onto this table as well. So this is my sidebar of uh, kitchen buffet, and this is where we will put the mimosa bar here. So that's my thought, those are my thoughts. As, um, just as I'm working things out in my brain. Uh, move all of my utensils off and just have this as um, a serving area as well. I'm not sure what I would put here, but then I could also use the bar top for plates, probably for plates and utensils and everything. We'll put that on the bar top and then people can grab those as they need or and napkins and different things on this buffet 
on this uh, side counter for right now. I haven't moved anything just yet. I've left it because the kids aren't here yet. I do want to get this spray painted and all these shelves painted. So we may have it ready for Christmas. I'm not sure. If we don't use this, we'll definitely use the bar top for all of our um, utensils and different things like that. So pretty much that's going to be Christmas 2017. Let me show you my outfit of the day. I was pretty proud of this outfit. Now, not all of this, not all of this is thrifted, but the top is thrifted. I thrifted this from the Goodwill. And I usually wear a black bottom with this, but because there are some hints of the gray, I just pulled a gray long skirt out of my closet. I do have on my house socks. Just look from the ankles up. And um, just some simple silver jewelry. I do have on the black earrings, but I probably should have worn silver, but I've been on bed rest all day. So I have not gotten out of the house, except very, very briefly to take Jackson. And we had a few errands that we needed to run. So with all of that being said, this is my outfit of the day. I've had this skirt for years and years, thrifted this shirt from the Goodwill, and this is what my outfit looks like. And that's pretty much it. Christmas 17 is almost in the bag. I will be doing some grocery shopping over at Aldi, and I will be sharing with you at the end of this video, a brief grocery haul that we already did to pick up a few of these items. So we hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It just says, hey, we enjoyed your video. If you're new to our channel, hit that red subscribe button. We'd love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the little bell, that way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas. And we'll see you on Vlogmas Day number seven. Bye. So here's the grocery haul. I needed to grab a couple of things for Christmas um, to go with our Christmas breakfast theme. And then a couple items I got because my mom, my son, and my older daughter will be here. And they are not necessarily low carb. But in order to feed everybody for at least four days, I wanted to have some things on hand. So here's what I got. I always do um, grits and I do those in the crock pot. I may get to film that. So I do grits. I got the Quaker quick grits. They were, I don't remember what the price was. I got the butter flavor of the Harris Teeter and the sugar free Harris Teeter syrup. They were a dot, no, they were three for five so a dollar 67 a piece mrs butterworth was buy one get one free it probably in, ends up being the same price but they did not have sugar free and so me and the kids we do sugar free of course my mom and you know my, and my mom is a diabetic so she needs the sugar free as well my kids will will use the butter flavor and that's fine i normally do not get old-fashioned oats and we will not be having this for um, Christmas morning, but my older daughter loves oatmeal, so I just got that to put in her Christmas stocking. I don't know that it will fit, but I'm going to try it. The Arnold's um, Premium Italian Bread. This scans as, I think it's two points per slice. Normally, I have not been, I can't remember the last time I bought bread. I've been doing keto bread, but the keto bread is four points for something that's not even half as big as this end piece. So it's four points for the keto bread, and this is only two points. But outside of me eating bread, my kids and my mom, they can do sandwiches and feed themselves. Like I have ham and turkey in the fridge. This was two for four or two dollars a piece. I had a 55 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.10. So I paid 90 cents a loaf. I'm gonna leave one out for the kids for this week. My older son's coming home this weekend as well, and I'm gonna throw two of them in the freezer for Christmas, uh, you know, my daughter said she'd be here, I think the 21st. We're gonna be having our church Christmas party on Sunday, and Shelly from Shelly's Home Life did some cute little uh, Christmas snacks, and so we're going to recreate those. We have the snap pretzels already. Um, I couldn't find Rolos, because that's what I was looking for, so I'm going to do these caramels, and then we're going to put some chocolate chips on top with a pecan half to make like the little turtles i couldn't find rollos that's what i was looking for so i got those for 2.89 i believe 
Um, these Airhead Extremes, I got these for the kids at church. So I'm going to take all this candy to church and let, we're going to um, the roller skating rink for our Christmas party and the kids are going to be out there running around and carrying on. So these are Airhead Extreme Sour Candies. They were $1.66. I had a 75 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So I paid 16 cents for each of these. And the sweet tarts were a dollar a piece. I had a 75 cents off of two. So I paid a quarter a piece for these. So these are just for the kids at church. We have a lot of kids at our church. Going back to the uh, snacks that Shelly made. She did the turtle ones. But she also did some with just the Hershey's Kisses and a M&M on top. So this bag was like $4.69. So I figured I'd just get six of these fun size bags. And I would um, just open these up and use however many in there we had. That came up to $1.29. Um, our store had this Despicable Me and the Keebler chocolate chip cookies on sale. Buy one, get one free. So I got two boxes for $3.59. And the only reason I got cereal is because the milk from Harris Teeter... For 64 ounces or a half gallon, it was 54 cents. Today was a, it was today only. You get two for 54 cents. So I'll let the kids use one. I'll keep one around for Christmas. I'm going to be doing quiche and, and everything like that. So we'll have one for Christmas, and the kids can use one for their cereals. I got the pecan chips or the pecan halves for the Rolo or the turtle treats picked up some grapes they were 99 cents a pound i picked up four bananas but the kids and i've already eaten one the hefty plates will buy one get one free we are out of plates they were no they no they were three for five so a dollar 67 which was like three dollars and forty cents and i had a dollar off of two so two dollars and forty cents or a dollar twenty cents a pack i just so happened to be going past the uh, markdown produce and they had mushrooms for a dollar so I got two of those I'm gonna make some kind of soup or I think I'm gonna freeze those let me know if you freeze mushrooms and if you do how you do them we just got our standard paper towel for $1.99 two I mean a uh, toilet paper for $1.99 two paper towels for 49 cents we're out of water this was $2.49 the thick sliced bologna because my kids like this for their lunches we don't have this and haven't had that in quite a while but I got to take the convenience road this week. So this was 99 cents. And then the ultra thin Sargento provolone cheese was two for five or two fifty a piece. I had a 55 cents off coupon that doubled to a dollar 10. So I got this for a dollar 40 cents. So this was my small haul to fill in for my Christmas items. And then having my family over for a few days four days I think it's going to be six of us in the house plus two dogs so all in all I paid just under $46 and I got a gift card from my co-workers for $60 and so that left me with a little bit less than $14 for the uh for anything else I think I might need I think I might have to get some eggs and some pie shells I forgot pie shells my oldest daughter asked for quiche and I may end up getting another thing or two of bacon because I only have three and I probably will need some more cheese although I have cheese in the um, freezer so I'm gonna ch you know check all of my supplies and stores and see what I have and what I need to replenish so anyway thank you so much for stopping by our channel if you like this video be sure and give us a thumbs up it just says hey we like your video if you're new around here hit the red subscribe button we love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community also hit the bell that way you never miss an upload from us we are so appreciative to have you stop by our kitchen to see what we're gonna be cooking on Christmas Day for our family tradition this will be I don't know how many is annual family Christmas breakfast but again we'll see you the next time we shop bye everyone this is our elf we named him Smokey because I want to name him Smiley but our sister well my sister not mom's at the time wanted to name him Spooky yeah, hi Smokey reading can't read that Proverbs 17 11 got me when I think I'm going to be 
when I'm going to the station, but actually I'm headed toward death. Look at our elf, guys. Two holes, scarf, shoes with the red button. He was in the freezer. The freezer. I'll show you where he was in the freezer. Nope, that's a bridge. He was in the freezer. Freezer, freezer, freezer. Now I'm gonna go back to the elf.